Right, it's Mike at Phase 1. Got a new product I'd like to show you today. Bit unusual this one. And I like to pick out the unusual lights. I'd like to think that we could do a review on every single light that comes in the shop, but you know, sometimes we've just got to keep it for the ones that are a little bit unique. And this is one of those lights. It's a brand new light from Chauve. It's the Beamer 6 FX. Anyhow, you don't want to look at the cardboard box. You want to look at the item. It's a bit mad. It's a bit bonkers. It's a bit out there. And to be honest with you, it's got a face only a mother could love. But the effect that it gives out is mint. It looks fantastic. I have had a look at this light in the showroom and it really caught my attention. We've got six, let me just one, two, three, four, five. We've got six LED beams which we can direct. So we can turn it that way, turn it this way. We can have it going out over. So you can create an effect chasing round, beams, beams are everywhere, absolutely everywhere. But then also in the middle, we have got a strobe. Now this is a proper little bit of eye candy. It's using SMD LEDs and it chases round, backwards and forwards. We'll show you all this in the video, we're going to put the light on. And also we've got a red and green cluster laser in the middle. I think this would make a fantastic centrepiece. I think, you know, it, it just really caught my eye. The programme on it is excellent and it's just bright enough. I'll read a few of the specs. We've got channels of DMX 2 or 15, uh, RGBW on the LED beams, 5 watts. Doesn't sound like a lot, but it's a narrow beam. Trust me, it's way bright enough. We've got a red and green diode on the laser. Uh, the beam angle on this, incidentally, is 3 degrees and the weight of the unit is 2.9 kilo so it's not particularly heavy and it just looks fantastic also not included unfortunately I keep saying this Chauvet are you listening it will work with their little remote the little IR remote now I think are you listening Chauvet I think you should put these in the box charge me five quid more I don't mind just put it in the box um, but it doesn't come in a box unfortunately but there you are listen up do it, sort it out. We're going to flick through, find out what we can do with this unit here. We're going to, so what we're going to do is we're going to put it in the showroom. Uh, we're going to put some smoke on and I'm going to have a flick about with this and see what we can get going on it. So Chauvet, Beamer 6 FX. I like it. I didn't want to like it because it's an ugly looking thing, but I tell you what, the effect it puts out is me. <laughs>
Beamer 6. Right, what did I do in that video? I chopped it up a little bit, so it might be a little bit all over the place. I was moving some of the little beam effects, the LED beam effects, in and out, so you can get them crossing over and stuff like that. I like it when you've got them splayed right out, so that it looks like they're going around in a circle. So I cut the video up a couple of times, got back up the ladder, moved them into different positions. Uh, and towards the end of the video there, I was using the little remote uh, and with that little remote I can put it into uh, sound to light and flick through the different programs so if you don't like the strobe on you just select one of the programs in sound to light mode of strobe not on uh, if you don't like the beam effect you can turn everything off individually uh, via each program there's an auto mode on which is on at the moment because obviously it's not in sound to light because you've got no music on but it's still working and you can flick through the different programs there. Again, I think I've got it in show one, which seems to go through a little bit of everything. Show one seems to give a little bit of the LED strobe, a bit of the beam effect, and the laser as well. I don't think it came out very well on the camera, the strobe bit that goes round. It does chase round. I think it's that bright that the camera didn't particularly pick that bit up really, really well. But sometimes you can see it as it is there now, just darting about. I think that looks really, really effective. It maybe didn't come out best on camera, but these videos, it's really just to give you a guide of what the light is capable of. I really, really like that. Uh, also, I did cut the video and just put the laser on and pointed it to our roof so you could see what kind of cluster laser it was. And as you can see, it does all them swirly patterns and circles, which I think is really, really nice. I think the fact that it works with this and I was stood over the other side of the room pointing it Fantastic. You launch this up into the a ceiling if it was in a venue and you want to be able to change it, you just point it at it. I think if you're doing your disco, part of your disco, I think, my goodness, two of them on your disco, you've got a light show, you're done. You know what I mean? Um, I forgot to mention as well, of course it is DMX, it's master slavable, so you can get two, link them together and they'll copy each other. I think that is a really smart light. A little bit different. I didn't like the look of it, but when it's on, I do like the effect of it. That's the Chauve Beamer 6 FX. I think that's what it's called anyway. Tell you what, click the link in the description and it'll take you through to our website and the information and everything. And pricing. It's Mike Affairs 1. Cheers.